as we take more terms of our Taylor approximation, so our first term being zero, our second term being x, just x, our third term, our quadratic term actually is, has a coefficient of zero, so we're going to, just going to skip that, and we end up with our, if we truncate it at that point, our remainder term is going to be this cos b 3 factorial over x minus 3, x to the power 3. So it's our cubic, it is, becomes our cubic uh, error term. And if we take a look at when b equals 0.82 on the left here, we are a little bit off. We can see that my our estimation in green is off from our actual value in red. And as we move our slider, we can see that at approximately 0.52, we get a much better match. So again, we can't necessarily find exactly where that B value is. We, it's approximately around 0.52. But again, we can bound it. We know it exists between 0 and pi over 2. And we actually work it out and, and model it in this way. We can see that we can actually see it's near 0.52. And so our remainder term, our cubic remainder term, is going to be this cos, cos b over 3 factorial and to the power of 3.